Members and delegates of Action SA converged at the Birchard Conference Centre in Boxburg earlier today for the second day, the party's three-day policy conference that started on Tuesday for it to be concluded tomorrow. This serves as the party's preparations for the upcoming 2024 elections. Members and delegates of Action SA from all nine provinces in South Africa converge at the Birchwood Conference Centre in Boxburg for the policy conference as they prepare the journey leading up to the national elections set to take place next year. Action SA President Hemen Mashaba emphasised on the challenges the country is facing of illegal foreigners as one of the top priorities that must be debated by Action SA through this policy conference. It must be tough on those countries that actually do not look after their, res their citizens and expect South Africa to take that responsibility. We have 12 million of our own South Africans who are unemployed today. Therefore, as government, South African first. That is his problem. The Gauteng chairperson of Action SA, Funzi Ngobeni, says since the start, the conference has been very fruitful with members debating amendments and legislatures included in the party's policy. The last two days have really been productive. Um, the engagement has been vibrant. I think uh, um, our delegates from all the provinces, they came prepared and they are making very um, you know, informative uh, proposals. Even the amendments that, uh, that were brought forward, most of them were carried because they really made sense. Um, and, and, and really this speaks to what we are trying to do um, in fixing the country. Um, one of the major policies uh, that uh, was approved yesterday was economic prosperity. The policy conference is a culmination of months of exhaustive expert-led policy analysis that will guide the party's policy suit. Uh, us as young people, the one thing that have stand out is the uh, funding, you know, the funding models for the higher education, you know, so uh, I think, you know, that's the biggest victory for us as young people. And then the presiding officer, which is our national chairperson, have ruled that, you know, the young people will be given opportunity for 60 days, you know, to come with a viable model, you know, that will work in terms of, you know, funding for the education education because we were of the view that you know the current you know amendment that was proposed you know for adoption you know so we were uh, not so much of it we were of the view that you know uh, improvement you know can be done and then you know, so for us as young people you know we took we, we, we take that as a, a victory and tomorrow they will close the conference via a ceremony followed by a media briefing to outline all the issues that were spoken about and debated upon at the policy conference in Birchwood Hotel and Conference Center. For Soweto TV News, I am Zweli Banzi Mazibugo.